Good morning, welcome to 5 Minute Fun Home School with me, Steph Cooper. I used to be an early years teacher and now I'm group editor of CBB's magazine, Number Blocks and Alpha Blocks magazines. Join me here at 10 o'clock every morning this week for some tips and advice on homeschool learning for children aged 3 to 4. They're quick, fun, free and every idea uses stuff that you should have at home all being well. Keep your kids busy learning while you pick up educational tips in these lessons broadcast by Facebook Live. Even when they're learning, the activities will hopefully give you a little bit of time to yourself. Uh, I can see lots of people are joining, but while we're waiting for some more people to join, I want to thank you so much for the pictures that you posted on Facebook yesterday. I saw some amazing weather pictures that your kids have done, so please message me uh, on 5 Minute Fun Facebook with any uh, pictures, questions or comments that you've got. It would be absolutely fantastic to hear from you, so thanks so much for all the stuff you've sent in so far. If you've just joined us, welcome to 5 Minute Fun School with me, Steph, and today we are looking at numbers. I recommend that you make a really simple number line, a bit like this. And all the stuff I'm showing you today, by the way, is from our Number Blocks Maths program, uh, which I happen to have at home here. Um, so it's just one long line across the bottom, uh, five smaller lines, and then one, two, three, four, five next to each small line. And of course, uh, if your child is really young or meeting numbers for the first time, just go up from one to five, or you can go up from one to 10 or one to 20, uh, whatever you like. So I recommend that you create a really quick, simple number line just like this, just on a piece of paper. Your child might be learning to count. They might be able to count fluently up to 10. They might even be able to count way, way, way beyond, uh, beyond 10. Um, or they might be meeting new numbers for the very first time and simply getting to know them, starting to get to know them. So today, I'm talking about meeting and really getting to know numbers. Whether it's meeting number one for the very first time, whether it's adding or taking away, children do need to get to know numbers so that they can become really fluent and confident and start to see them all around them, not just as number symbols, but so that they can see numbers in patterns and shapes in the real world, or even in the home world, should I say. The more, of course, that they encounter, the better. I'm going to talk about loads and loads of ideas today, but you know your child, you know which ones may work with your child, so please let me know how you get on. So, what do you do when you're meeting a number for the very first time? Well, I would suggest choosing a number and making a number your number of the day. So, getting to know number one. Introduce the number first. And I'm just going to show you this again. Remember that number line that you've got prepared already? First of all, trace over the number. So just create a dotty number for your child to write over. If they're not writing yet, just get them to follow the number with their finger and then spot the number on the number line so they can see where it is. Number one is always first. And then ask them lots of questions um, that actually require your child to do something or say something. So for example, can you see one nose on your face? You can join in now if your kids are there with you, which they probably are. Can you clap once? Can you hop once? Can you show me one of something? Go and get one of something. Then say hello to the things in your home. Hello one door. Hello one TV. Hello one me. Hello one you. Then look outside through the window and say hello to the things there. Hello one bird, hello one tree, hello one cloud, and so on and so on. Collect a group of single objects and take it in turns to say what you can see. I can see one block, I can see one grape, and so on. If you collect some foodie things together, some snacks, uh, do the same thing. I can see one crisp, one grape, whatever. Um, and then as you start to eat them, you're, what are you doing? You're taking away. I can see no grapes, I can see no raisins, and so on. Older kids, of course, can get to meet and know the number 11. And 11 is really interesting because it introduces children to the idea of place value. 11 is made up of one ten, tens, and one one unit. 
that's my cat by the way in case you can hear a noise in the background hello Oscar um, can your child choose 11 players for a fantasy football team writing the name of a player next to next to each number have a look at other numbers from 11 to 19 as well can your child split them into tens and units so if two is your number of the day trace over the number two first Write the number two, just like we did with one, and then see if you can spot it in the number line that you've created. And then I'm just gonna show you something here. Two is this many. It's two blocks, it's two circles, it's two grapes, it's two raisins. Two can look like, two is, can be so many different things, but you can also make two like this, if you look at the balloons there. And there we're using real things, objects, to make number sentences i.e. sums. 1 plus 1 equals 2, 3 take away 1 e equals 2 as well. So 2 can look like lots of different things. You can create 2 in loads of different ways and that's what um, you need to give your child experience of. But then you can send them away to go and look uh, for 2s. Go away and look for pairs of things in your house. A pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a pair of wellies, a pair of gloves. If you've just joined us, we're talking about numbers here today on Facebook Live. Uh, it's Five Minute Fun School with me, Steph. I used to be an early years teacher and now I group edit uh, CBeebies magazine, Alpha Blocks and Number Blocks magazines. And we're looking at numbers. We've covered one and two. Now we're going to talk about meeting three. So again, all over again, trace the number three. Look for it on your number line that you've created. Uh, three, of course, is this many objects. Let me get this right. Three is this many. It's this many blocks. It's this many circles. It's this many cherries. It's this many lemons. Loads of different objects. So make three using lots of different things. But then, of course, three also looks like this. Three is this many. Three is two plus one. Four takeaway one is also three, but there you can see on this page, we've got bananas, so you can use real things that you've got. You might not have that many bananas, but use whatever you've got at home, whatever you have to create some numbers and to create some number sentences and to start to introduce the, the idea of, of sums. A really good game to play with the number three is uh, noughts and crosses, three in a row. So with a pen and paper, just draw a, a grid like this, three by three. And if your child is writing, just use noughts and crosses. And of course, take it in turns to write a nought or a cross in a square. And the winner is the person who gets three in a row first. If your child's not writing yet, you can use objects like uh, buttons or coins. Just place one in one square, take it in turns, and the winner is the first one to get three in a row. Really easy, and it's all about three. But look closely at that grid. What you're starting to see there is a bigger square. It's a bigger square that's three by three. So already your, your child is not only learning about three, they're also starting to see how three looks when it's three by three. Try some songs, of course, with three in them for really young children. Songs like um, like Three Blind Mice, Three Blind Mice, See How They Run, that one there. That's, that's, a good, that's a good one to use with really young children. So when you're meeting four, <clears throat> when you're meeting four, same sort of thing again. Draw over the dotty number four. Spot the number four in your really simple number line. You could make four like this. This is number block four, four here that I have. Um, by the way, if you don't have real blocks, uh, plastic or wooden blocks, uh, you could use, uh, you could create some squares um, out of a card or paper. Just, just draw them, cut them out, and then ask your child to do what I'm about to explain to you now, but just using the, the card or the paper instead. So you can build a tower like this for, oops, four, four looks like, they just fell on the floor there, I'll use these instead. Four looks like this, four also looks like this. They might build some steps uh, going up. Uh, so four can look like lots of different shapes and things. A really good way um, to teach odd and even numbers to your child is to start building a number, and again, you can use real blocks like these or just your card squares, build a number from the bottom. So start with two on the bottom 
And can you see that this has a flat top? And that means that two is an even number. But look what happens if you build three. So again, start with two on the bottom. If you build three and add a third block like this, that's an odd block. So that means that three is an odd number. If you repeat that with four, you'll see that four has a, has a flat top. So that means that four is an, odd, an, an even number. So meeting number five. So same thing again. Trace over the number five. Spot the number five on your number line. And then other really simple things you can do. Ask your child to, to draw around their hand on a piece of paper. Label their fingers and thumb, one to five. And then ask them to do things like, can you clap five times? Can you do some high fives together? Um, and then think about what five looks like. Five can look like this. It can look like this, like this. Uh, can they build any other shapes using their blocks? They can lay them on the, on the table in front of them or on the floor. Um, or they can start to do this, start to think about some number sentences. Four plus one equals five. Six take away one equals five. And you'll see in these number sentences here, we're not using numbers even. We're just using pictures of objects. So at home, I do advise that you use objects to start adding and taking away. And five, of course, is an odd number because if you build from the bottom, if you build, start with your two and then add on two more like this. Just keep building, build, build, build. And then you'll see when you add the fifth block, you'll see that it doesn't have a flat top. It has an odd block on the top. So this five is an odd number. It's a really, really easy way to explain the difference between an odd and an even number, even without the number line. Um, and so on. So I hope you're getting the idea of how how you need to introduce numbers to your to your children now. When you meet seven, same thing again. Trace the number seven. Spot seven on your number line. Um, you can. I've seen so many uh, rainbows in windows at the moment um, in in houses around me. So you can uh, draw a rainbow. Color the rainbow. Use seven different colors. And do you see what we're doing? We're just getting to know seven. Color it with seven colors. Um, and then pop it up in your window when it's finished. Uh, there's a brilliant video actually on Five Minute Fun of um, a, a little girl painting a rainbow really easily, just paint and a sponge, and it looks really, really good. So have a look out for that. Um, I know loads of you have watched it already. Um, of course, there are seven days of the week. So if you've, if you've got a, a diary for the week, a calendar up on your fridge, what you're gonna be doing each day this week to try and give it some structure, there are seven days of the week, so when you meet seven, it's a really good time just to point out, just to make that connection between the number and the number of days in the week. Here's a really good, a good tip for starting to build number sentences, that is sums, of course. So if you, if you take a number like, uh, let's say, four, and you put four apples in a bowl, and then put two empty bowls underneath it. So you've got four apples in a bowl, and two empty bowls underneath it. Ask your child to split those four apples between the two empty bowls. Just give them a minute to do that. They can do all sorts of things. They might put two in one bowl and two in the other. They might put one in one bowl and three in the other. Either is fine. But then just make that connection. Four is two plus two. Four is three plus one. Four is one plus three. So that's just a really good way of introducing uh, number sentences or sums, uh, just to do it with a, a physical object. I suggested apples, but it can be absolutely anything at all that you have at home at the moment. And it's really, really important, I cannot stress enough, it's really important to start, to start with, um, with real objects. There are loads of numbers, of course, involved in uh, in cooking and baking. So uh, obviously you're all cooking at home at the moment. So and if you are baking, really focus on uh, all the numbers that you're using when you're cooking and baking. A really good I mentioned songs before. Um, another good song to do uh, 
when you're introducing the number five is five little ducks went swimming one day of course and uh, I don't know if you remember the rhyme I'm not going to sing it but uh, it starts five little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away mummy duck said quack 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 but only one little duck came back and of course what that really simple song does it starts introducing the idea of taking away the song goes on and we get down to two little ducks went swimming one day uh, over the hill and far away and so on and so on and so on. So that introduces the idea of taking away. But finally, at the end of the song, of course, all the five little ducks come back. So it's a really good idea to sing that song. If you have five ducks at home, duck toys at home, use those because it just helps reinforce, uh, reinforce the idea of taking away. But if you don't have ducks, just use anything else, anything else that you have. Somebody's just messaged to say that they'd love me to sing that song, but I can assure you I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> um, I've heard from Marie and Thomas uh, who say that they are winning at home school today, which is absolutely fantastic. Marie and Thomas, it's really lovely to hear from you. I'm so glad that you are winning. Um, uh, Marie sent in a picture of Thomas playing with his, uh, his uh, number blocks, actually, I think they are, or number or, or blocks anyway. He's busy counting at home today. Um, that's just about it from me for today. Um, if you have any questions, please do send them in. And as I say, if you've got any photos of your child trying out any of the activities today, please do post them on Facebook um, on 5 Minute Fun uh, so that I can have a look, look at them and see what you're doing. Um, check out the Number Blocks Maths programme at 5minutefunshop.co.uk. All the ideas uh, for today's session came from uh, number blocks, um, which is a really brilliant way to, to teach your kids uh, about numbers. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, tomorrow, the session is about phonics and it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. So thanks so much for joining me on Facebook Live and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.